sun is rising over the bay. We're on our way out to Orlando. We are hitting Epcot for food and wine with the Horde of the Horns. Let's do it. Here we are, we're on Disney property. Next stop, Epcot Food and Wine. As Adam DeWu says, there goes the monorail. No better way to start food and wine than a shot of Beverly. There's Beverly Artists. Oh my god, I want more. I want more. Round two. <laughs> Beverly is the hidden gem of Epcot. Where they hold them. Tampa Bay, uh, right there. Uh, there's Lady It's Philly, amazing. Which we there's, have not done Lady Philly. I've done that one. I did that one many years ago. Yeah, we gotta get uh, yeah, I haven't. I was like, wait, I don't know that. Oh, yeah. I just turned 29. <laughs> the best item at Food and Wine. Is that grease? The griddled cheese? The pistachios and honey. It doesn't pull. It doesn't pull, but this is easily the best item in all of food and wine is the griddled cheese at grease. Griddled cheese at grease. Pistachios and honey. And I forget if it's goat cheese or sheep cheese. Pink donut time. You empty your trash and get Pink donut time. Here they come. Pink donut time. One of our yearly traditions is stopping to get the pink donut. Now, this is something that we did with Mark. Uh, he was one of our original members, start dating back all the way to 2012. The three of us bought the horns together, and he would always stop to get a pink donut. Well, last year he passed away, so what we do is we all get together and eat our pink donut. Anybody else? Thank you, daughter. All right. What about a donut? For Mark? Yeah, maybe. Nope. 
shorts were falling down. All right. You're going to moon everybody. Oh, picture. Yay. All right. Delicious. Can I share this donut with somebody who wants some? I'm a liar. Cheers to beat us. Did cheers to beat us? <laughs> cheers to beat us. Diabetes. Diabetes. Delicious. My name's Wilson Brittany. Delicious. Or not milk. Delicious beaters. Delicious beaters. Diabetes. Cheers. That just gives you gout. I also like your I love it. so good. And just think, we're only halfway through and you were already trying to take your pants off. What? We haven't even gotten to Germany. We didn't get our. Um, we the, didn't. Uh, we didn't get our flight at Belgium. Tequila. The tequila in Mexico. Mexico. Not yet. More Beverly. Oh, Beverly. Fuck that. No. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's what we need to do. I'll just take yeah. shots. Of Beverly. Oh, it's so bad. We had some this morning. Oh, we had Beverly and fucking barbecue sauce. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> barbecue was actually pretty good. Gotta go to California Adventure, and it was glorious. Mine. So here we are, <laughs> eating off of trash cans. You can leave it in mine. Losing my wiener. Yeah. Because this, so it goes down easier. Hold it. This is the food of one tradition, eating off of trash cans. Green mm. leaf. That probably be the one that I like. Oh, that's good. If you want it, I'm only gonna have a couple more bites. I swear. No, no, no. I've got a sous vide. Have that, some actual food. I am actually so stuffed. <laughs> you get, I'll get one more bite. Yeah. Oh, that is really good. Yeah, it's really fucking good. It's very rich. Where'd you Especially. Get that, it's the pasta broth. Yeah. Germany. Yeah. That was in Germany. I didn't see that in Germany. What the fudge? Well, yeah, you were lying ahead of us. <laughs> Same place. Oh, I'm go. afraid it's going to jump. Oh, no. To no. Take it. Take oh, it. Oh, my goodness. That's the best part. For Look at that. All that cheese. All that for cheese. Like, can we come over, Jen? Whatever. Or I can bring it to you guys. I'm, oh, my God. That's good. I work remotely. Tuesday, Wednesday, and that is Thursday, but, and I don't have anything over at Germany. Pasta gratin. Delicious. So, I went to go get the cloth. And I cracked a cup, so it's a dribble glass now, I guess. You were going through a whole story with the chitting there with your, in your brain. And I got the hiccups. Go figure. Another good event. This is a good turnout. Test spear. How's that going down? That's pretzel bread. That's a little tougher. It's sliding down. That's okay. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Jeremy, what that's a good Oktoberfest. Oh, sorry. We're on the last weekend almost. Oh, yeah. Is how long it takes. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Tomorrow starts 38 Special, which is one of the first ones we ever actually hung out for. Yes. That was the last one that we went to. Oh, my God. That is what we're going to see. We're going to yeah, see. I wanted to see Billy Ocean in uh, Air Supply. So I just made the mistake of not recording the curry mozzarella sticks at the India Pavilion or the India Food Booth. Holy smokes, those are good. Curry mozzarella sticks. If they have them next year, I know it's the end of food and wine. But if they have the curry mozzarella sticks get those absolutely delicious here we are entering Norway this is where the horns group started we were here in 2012 when three of us ended up going into this store over here and buying three pair of horns back then we had three regular horns they were all the same all went up uh, we ended up customizing them that first day. 
mine went down, one of the guys went up and down, and the other one went up. And then from that point, we realized you can customize your horns. So every year that we've come back, we have slowly been adding pins and adding decorations to our horns. And that's what is an identifier. So here we are, we're going into the store. Unfortunately, this is all they have anymore here. So these horns here, so look at that, ridiculous, ridiculous. These used to be the horns you were able to get here in Norway, but now it is foam horns and Mickey Mouse horns. And they got a couple of pairs. They got the little plush horns, you got the ear horns, and the foam ones now. I miss these big horns. These used to be the standard. They used to have the big ones, and they used to have the ones with the ponytails for the ladies, but now. Jeremy. Foam. Jeremy. Foam, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, I need to go forward a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go forward. Yeah. It's beautiful. There we go. There oh, you yeah. Go. yeah. He's rocking it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I like. I, I gotta close say, it, I, like, I like. I like the rubber ones. I like the helmet ones. if it was bigger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Do you want to try these on? Here, oh. try those on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Yeah. Perfect. Look at the Disney bitter and getting there. It's a It's something. They do Now do these ones light up or is these do these Those they don't Yeah, these are new. I've never seen those before. Yeah, those are brand new this year. Oh, anytime I light up. Ah. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. This beautiful song talks about remembering where we came from. So ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, from our hearts to yours, here it is.
New horns. What time is the showing? Show is at 7, I think. All right. You're going to get Beverly. What are you going to do? We're going to get hit Beverly and then uh, probably head back to America. I'll to, go to uh, I'll Beverly with you and then I'm going to hit it. Okay. Because we're right here by the front. So, yeah, just hit Guardians. Look at this. Look at this. Tig. Hell yeah. With his new Loki horns at the Guardians. Uh, Future Con costume. Future Con. Yeah. Those are glorious. I love them. They look dope. Glorious. We thought I finished them up. Round two at Club Cool. Time to drink some more Beverly. Here we go. Here we go. The China one's good. The Beverly's good. Beverly is not good. You're silly. So you're saying mix Beverly and Smart. Yep, there you go. Beverly and Smart. That's really good together. This one tastes like bitters. If you if you drink like a drink like an old fashioned with bitters, so you got to mix Beverly and Smart together. Go ahead, go ahead. They taste better together, don't they? <laughs> it's like double X. This is not good. This is not good, Jerry. But I'll drink the rest. Because it got dark out. It is very crowded right now. Yeah. Really this is right now. this is more crowded than race weekend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Way now, crowder than it was earlier. Yeah. <laughs> we got a good group. We go around the world. We get drinks. We get food. Uh, it's been pretty mild this year. Pretty mild this year. Uh, we did start at Rosen Crown. And of course, I forgot to hit record when we were doing our toast. We just got off of the Guardians ride. Guardians ride is absolutely amazing. Um, we're on our way to America right now. See, that's the thing is too. We normally do it the first week in November. And now there's Christmas lights. Uh, we're heading to America to go see Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Uh, meet up with some of the other groups. We ended up riding Guardians and it splits everybody up because of the virtual queues. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the virtual queues. Virtual queues uh, kind of prevent normal people from riding the rides. And, you know, I get it. I get it that you want to get people that are really dedicated to the ride. And, but when when you're trying to do stuff on a whim at a park like this, it really doesn't work. You have to plan ahead. You have to be on the phone at seven in the morning or be on the phone at 1 p.m., which is how we ended up with it because we tried to get it at 7 a.m. and we didn't get our virtual queue. It was done within five seconds. So we ended up getting together and doing it in the park at 1 a.m., uh, 1 p.m. And a few of us got on the ride. And it splits up the group. It isn't something like if you want to go ride any of these other rides, Imagination or Sworn or whatever, that you can just sit there and say, hey, here we are as a group, let's ride this ride. Uh, we did that a lot over the years. You know, a big group of us would go ride Spaceship Earth or the Mexico ride, the, the Grand Fiesta ride. But, or, you know, before that we would ride the Norway ride before it was frozen. But now it just seems like Lightning Lane 
and virtual queues have made it very, very long and extend the, the lines. I, you either pay to ride the rides or you wait in a long ride. You know, I kind of wish, I kind of wish that system would go away, but you know, that's the way of things when companies just want to make an extra buck. So I get it, all the parts do it nowadays, but we had a good time. Uh, I'm glad that we got to ride Guardians. That Guardians ride is one of the absolute best roller coasters on property. As much as I love it, I do like Everest better. Everest is still my favorite ride on property. So yeah, we're on our way to America. Let's go. folks we hang up our horns again after a successful horde of the horns invasion of going around the world showcase at the epcot food and wine festival now did the video turn out the way i wanted it to uh no there was some flubs i missed filming some really important things that i wanted to film and the end of it ended because i forgot to recharge my backup battery for the camera so that's why i'm here i'm gonna sit here and give you a quick little recap uh one thing I really wanted to film was the toast. Uh, the toast is really important for me because in a way this group is liquid group therapy to me. Uh, I've been going through a very hard year. I had a lot on my mind. I took a six month break uh, because my father's health was failing. After losing my father-in-law, my father's health was failing. I went through the catastrophic knee injury and then at two weeks ago, my father passed. So going into this event, my mind was very occupied. There was a lot of things that I wanted to do with this event. I wasn't able to do everything, but I realized after losing one of our founders last year with Mark, I looked back at this event and I tried to find video of us doing this. And we really, we didn't have any video of this. So this year I wanted to invest in some camera equipment and do the stuff around the, the country, uh, do around the stuff around the countries. Now, did I get everything that I wanted? Did I get the angles that I wanted? Did I get the food items that we ate and the drinks that we drank? And there's a lot of our traditional things that we really didn't do. We didn't ride some of the rides that we traditionally do that would have looked great on video, but it was a very relaxed and mild event for us. So it's a lot of quiet walking and like some talking with a group and you know, it is what it is. I, I really appreciate just being able to put this on camera and having some something where it's recorded. So if we lose any more members, like we have, we lost another one this year with Kathy and we invited some folks that, you know, one of our members, uh, Tig, his wife passed away a few years ago and he, she came to the event. So I wanted to honor her and he just lost two more family members. I lost my father and we have, you know, there's a lot of people dealing with loss. So that's why I really call this liquid group therapy. Uh, I love this event. I love this group. It, it really, to be around a good amount of people, we had 35 people show up this year. That is a great, great, you know, uh, a group of people. Now, one of the things that I really regret not being able to film, I had the tripod set up, I had the camera set up, but we missed our opening toast. 
our opening toast is really important because one of the things that we do is even though we're going around and we're having drinks and it starts at the uh, Rose, and Crown call, uh, Rose and Crown Bar at the England Pavilion, we do. We get together and we have a, a, a shot and we start with Irish car bombs. But it's not, it's in the toast. It's It's not what's in the cup or what's in the glass. It's about raising the glass together. And that's exactly the spirit of this group. Uh, we gather to make each other joyful and we bring joy to the people around us. And that's something that I really love doing with the Horde of the Horns. And it might be at Epcot. It might be us at Elf Night. It might be us going snow tubing. It might be us going skiing and catastrophically grooving up your knee. But that's what we do. Um, there was two things also I would have liked to uh, include. One is this. You might have seen this. This is a wrist gift card. Now, a lot of us, you'll see this dangling when I'm drinking my Beverly. You'll see it dangling from my wrist. This, I highly, 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 highly recommend. If you're doing Epcot food and wine, get one of these. You can get it in World Showcase at Port of Entry right at the, right when you get into Port uh, World Showcase. Right there, Port of Entry is the gift store right at the front of World Showcase. You get one of these. You put your drinking budget, your food budget on this card. And then that way you can easily budget yourself for the rest of the day. You're not constantly taking out a debit card, taking out a credit card, taking out cash out of your pocket. You're, you're not risking yourself pulling stuff out of your pocket, having it fallen out if you had a few drinks. It's happened. I've seen people turn around and go, oh my goodness, where's my card? Where's my money? Where's this? Where's that? It's in and out of the purse. It's in and out of your pockets. I like using fanny packs. People make fun of me for it, but you know, it works good for this event. But this right here, this is an absolute godsend if you go to food and wine. The downside though, if Disney, if you're watching, get rid of this type of clip that you had on there. This type of clip right here. See that? I have an extra one here. This is that kind, like a binder clip, where it clips together. This, I kept hearing, uh, kept hearing from people that this part was falling off of their keychains. So what I did, I went to Ace Hardware. I got a couple of these little rings. And for our members, that's just a little miniature key ring. For our members, I handed some of these out. So that way, this doesn't fall off halfway through the day. I've heard that this, people reaching into their pocket, they have it on their arm. This fell off with these style clips. Disney, if you if you can get rid of these, these suck. These do, especially for something that your money's on. How would you like $100, $200 sitting around your wrist and suddenly that opens up? Get yourself a regular key ring if you have one, if you're gonna invest in one of these. But food and wine, highly, 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 highly recommend this. Uh, and we're gonna leave on a fun note now. Did I get anything at Epcot? Did I buy anything for myself? Well, yes, I did. I bought this. Now, this, what do you think that is? What would you call this? This would be considered what? A shot glass. No, not according to Disney. This is a toothpick holder. If you look at the receipt that they give you, this is technically a toothpick holder. Now, you can buy a pint glass, you can buy a, a, a stein over there in Germany, but if you buy anything that puts liquor in it, it's considered a toothpick holder. So these little tiny cups, toothpick holders. So that's my fun little note for the end of the day. Now, am I going to store toothpicks in it or am I going to have a little shot of whiskey in it? I'll probably be drinking more whiskey than storing toothpicks in that. But that is going right here on the wall of fun. And with that, horns up, everybody. Have a good day. See you next video. One last thing. I can't believe I forgot this. Daryl, Misty, this weekend would never have happened without you two. I've meant the world to me. Thank you very much. Horns up.